It's Coach Andre with another Tempo Tennis Tip. It is my professional purpose to make the tennis industry understand that the footwork is biomechanically wrong. Rotating the hips destroys the joints of the lower extremities. A constant question I receive every week is where did the concept of rotating the hips come from? I have the answer. Let's take a look. This is legendary coach Nick Volateri in his own words. I don't know half of what most coaches know in the world about pronation, turning your hips and shoulders, the, the dynamics of the stroke, centrifugal force. I don't know one shit. I don't know anything about that. I wanted to come across loud and clear. I did not think about things. I did not think of the ramifications, whether negative or positive or whatever, or neutral. Hips and shoulders again are turned. Notice the shoulder and hip rotation. The backswing starts with the hip and shoulder rotation. It's the quick hip and shoulder rotation. Watch how the hips and left shoulder come around as he hits the ball. Take that simple hip and shoulder rotation. The hip and shoulder rotation is the backswing. It's rotated with the hip and shoulders. Those Good hip and shoulder rotation. Quick shoulder and hip rotation. Good hip and shoulder rotation. The hip and shoulder rotation must be positive. Have that hip and shoulder rotation, you've got that short swing. If you notice the hips and shoulder rotation that we've been talking about. I made some mistakes. I don't even call it a mistake. I made it those things impromptu. To solve the problem, we must first admit that there is one. The injury list of the players of the past 30 years, including Andre Agassi, who is featured in the videos, are the first indicator that the technique is wrong. Then there's the science, which until now has not been applied. I'm here to help. Tempo Tennis. Every step counts.